guys, this is Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours where all of the magic happens. Are you feeling a little peckish today? Well, I am. I'm actually starving. So how about we do this? We get this recipe started. Stick around to find out what it is. Hola foodies, it's your girl Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours. And today we're gonna get ready to make a beautiful fruit salad. So let's go ahead and show you a couple of fruits that we've got. I've also, which is not on this uh, kitchen countertop right now, I've already chopped up some watermelon and I have that in the refrigerator. Over here, I have got a cantaloupe and as you can see, I have sliced the top off and I've sliced the bottom off to give some stability. And we're gonna slice this up and I'll show you how I'll do that. Over here, I also have a green melon. I've got some green apples that are already sliced up. We've got some blueberries which will be going in, some strawberries as well, and some blackberries. So now let's get busy. Let me show you what I'm going to do here. Now this is the way I normally would, and this is basically for safety, how I would slice a melon. So I slice the top off, slice the bottom so it doesn't roll around. Then you take your knife, you kind of run it down around the sides like that, and you keep slicing just like that, getting it all off. There we go. And this is how you do it while you protect yourself. And this way you get no cuts or bruises on your beautiful hands. Because of course you're gonna need all those fingers. You really truly do. I'm gonna get a little bit of that green off that we didn't get right over there. Slice that. Get that. Let's just flip it over, see what we didn't get, and we can simply trim this off. And that's what we do. And that's how I slice that open. And next, what I'm gonna do is slice this in half, like so. And I'm going to get a spoon and scoop this all out. Now I've got my trusty knife right here. Just kind of run it down on the inside, just like so. Keep going, keep going, scoop it all out and in the garbage, this lovely little darling. We'll go and then we can slice it up. Do the same thing on this side. Scoop, 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 scoop. Get the little seeds out, push down, and get them all out. Alrighty, so I went ahead and I peeled up the green melon as well. Now it's time to get these bad boys all chopped and cubed. So here we go. And we're gonna start with layering our fruit as we go. So this is what I like to do. I don't like huge pieces of fruit in my mouth that I can't chew or I need basically a <laughs> knife to cut it. So I like actually beautiful bite-sized pieces. So as we're chopping, I've got my beautiful crystal bowl here, a gorgeous present from my mama before she passed. So we're going to start with our first layer of cantaloupe. I think all I'll need is round about just a half of the cantaloupe for now because I am making two different batches. One that will have grapes, one that will be without because a friend of mine is allergic to grapes. So this particular version is going to have the grapes. His version will not. So we're going to start with that layer right there, and that's looking beautiful. I'm going to keep going, pile that in, 
That looks gorgeous. I think I can still fit this bit more in there. There we go. Nice little layer going on in there. Let's get our second layer going. So let's get our green melon in. And this is where we pretty much were adding color. So we want this nice and pressed down into our bowl. We've got our second layer of green going in. This is the way I love to do my salads. Some of them I do mix, but I think it looks so pretty for presentation when you pretty much do it this way. And then you can stick a big old spoon and go all the way down and get a little bit of each fruit. So let's continue with this here. Let's go. More chopped. There we go. And pretty much as you can see, I did chop an entire green melon, an entire cantaloupe. But like I said, I'm doing two different batches. But for our beautiful little show here, the one with the grapes, it's gonna be on. So here we go, oops, one man went overboard. So we've got our second layer on there. Our next layer that I would like to do is I am going to start with some green apples. So let's take a look. We've already got some in here. So we're going to lay them down nice and pretty in there. Just a little layer. Just like so. Get those in. Just like that. Next, we're going to add these grapes. I think I'll do in the middle after so we've got those apples there let's make a little well over here let's see if we can do what i'm trying to do we're going to put some grapes right here in the middle just like that we're going to finish up the grapes in just a little bit so we just need to keep them right here in the middle this over here so you guys can see We've got some strawberries. I need one large strawberry here in the center, just like that. I'm going to get my blueberries now. Actually, I'm going to go ahead with the rest of the strawberries that I got. And stick them just like that in the side. The rest of my strawberries, I cut them in half. So as you can see, I'm sticking them in on the side just like this. Just to make them look a little pretty. I'm gonna stick them in all around the bowl, just like that. I guess I got the hot one. There we go. Couple more to go. Whoops. Some strawberries there. More there. Let's see. I can probably tuck another one in there just to make it look pretty. Because we waste absolutely nothing. There we go. Fill that up just a little bit more. No grapes right there. I'll just finish this one right there. I need some of my blueberries, which I'm going to add. My blueberries are going to be here, just like that. 
blueberries right over there. More blueberries. Try to keep those grapes over there. Let's get some blackberries now. Of course, I've already washed my fruit and prepped them, so they're all nice and dry now. We've got these right here. And this is looking gorgeous already. I absolutely love the way this is looking. Beautiful. Let's get a bit more blueberries. Pile that in right there. Blueberries never hurt anybody. Up a little bit more there. A little bit more of my blackberries. Gonna take some grapes, pop them in just like so. Pop a little bit in right over here. Make that look nice and pretty. Pop a little in right over here. A little underneath in there, fill that up. Cavity up. Put that up right over here. Get a little bit more here. Finish these up just like that. Then get my little blackberries. Trim them up here on the side, just like this. some more up right there a little bit there here keep them in there we go whoops man of a wood all right you don't want to go in that's okay and I think we have done it there we go. How beautiful does our fruit salad look? It looks absolutely stunning. Take a look. Ooh, look at that baby. Oh yes, nice and gorgeous. Let's get you in for a nice tight shot. There we go. How beautiful does that look, huh? And there you have it, a beautiful, gorgeous, layered fruit salad, a la mala style. I'm gonna get this down on the side so I can show you the beautiful layers of how they look. Let's see if I can lift this little puppy up. Whoa, that's heavy. There we go. You can see all the layers from the cantaloupe to the green melon to the strawberries and all the berries up on top. Gorgeous, look at that. Absolutely stunning. Really, truly stunning. Once again, here's our beautiful fruit salad. As you can see, the layer of the orange cantaloupe on the bottom or green melon, we've got our strawberries We've got our grapes, we've got our blueberries, our blackberries, and of course, finished up with a large strawberry on top. And take a look at that puppy. How gorgeous. Who says fruit salad needs to be boring? Absolutely not. Fruit salad should never have to be boring. How gorgeous. And that, my friend, is for another summer party there we go gorgeous
Guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, the Amala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen, where all of the magic happens to yours. Feel free to look me up on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and give us a like, a follow, a share, and a subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you and namaste.